authorized slim four lesson two let's get blade template set up so first we're going to run composer require yesengers slash blade that's a package that lets us use blade outside the scope of Laravel. after that we're going to refactor our route definitions from bootstrap slash index.php we're going to cut them out and just like middleware and settings we're going to create a specific routes.php file in our app directory. Now this will just be a simple callback function that will accept an instance of app, register the route definitions, and of course we need to move the location of our PSR response and request interfaces. Once that's complete, we will require that anonymous function into bootstrap slash index.php and pass it our app. Now that our route definitions are properly refactored to their own routes file, let's set up the directory structure and file structure we need to support Blade. First, in the root of our project, we'll create a resources directory. Under resources, we'll create views, and then under views, we'll create one more directory called layouts. Within layouts, we're gonna create an app.blade.php file with HTML, simple blade syntax, and a child blade template that will extend from it. We'll speed that part along. Okay, so now we got our blade template set up. Also notice I added a cache directory, and then I added two templates, the layout template and then a child home dashboard template that extends from the parent template. After that, we'll go to our routes.php file, import yesengers backslash blade backslash blade, and then we're gonna add a new route definition to actually hit that home blade template we created. So we're gonna say, slash home, and then the three parameters again are request, response, and request parameters. We want to return a rendered view template, right? So we'll create a view helper function with three arguments. The response, the dot delimited template path, and the data you want to pass with or to the template. Next, we need to instantiate a blade object. But first, let's define the cache path, which was that directory I created when we sped things up in the root of our project. And then the base of our views path, where all of our dot blade files will be stored. Whenever we pass in the template path, dot delimited, not slashes, it will automatically look in the views directory. Then we'll create a new instance of blade passing in the views and the cache paths. We'll wrap it in parentheses and then we'll call this make function. We'll make the template with the given data we want to pass to that template. After that, we'll grab our response and write the blade template, rendered blade template to the response body. Then we'll of course return our response and la la, view templates are good to go. So now in our route definition, we'll return the response, but we'll wrap it in the view function and pass it the dot delimited template path, which is looking for that template auth slash home.blade.php in resources views. We're also gonna set width to an empty array so we can optionally pass or omit passing data to the template. And then we test. So 
Success. All right. So we got our blade templates working. So now let's pass through some data. We're going to create a name variable. We're just going to say the name's Clean Code Studio. And then all we're going to do is we're going to pass through compact in the name. This makes an associative array where the key is name and the value is the variable value of name. So then within our blade template, our resources slash views slash auth slash home dot blade dot PHP, we can output the name variable like that and then we test it. And that's it guys, that is how we set up our templating engine for auth. Next will be auto loading. Simple.